Per le vostre libere ricerche invito a scorrere le migliaia di video attraverso il link che trovate su Indice Alfabetico dal sito web www.tinelli.eu. Ma avete anche l'incredibile raccolta di playlist suddivisa per tematiche. Sempre a disposizione il risveglio, a colori, solo nel formato ebook, ma nella versione cartacea è solo in bianco e nero. Ognuno è libero di eseguire e ripetere quanto proposto e scoprire la verità, oppure di lasciare il canale e continuare a credere e crogiolarsi dentro il sistema di indottrinamento. Mr. Musk plan on dealing with a mass exodus, considering the acquisition is by a person with questionable ethics. The question of attrition, um, you know, as Parag stated, you know, uh, one of the themes of today is continuity um, and ensuring that Parag and this leadership team continues to operate the business successfully on behalf of our users, on behalf of our customers. Um, and that has obviously been a big topic of discussion at the board. And as I mentioned, an area that uh, is important to Elon Musk as well, because of the importance of Twitter as a service. With no board in place, who will keep Elon accountable and how? Elon made it clear in public that a large part of the reason he bought the platform was because of our moderation policies and disagreements in how we deal with health. This puts Twitter service and trust and safety, as well as anybody who cares about health on the platform, in a very difficult position. Twitter service, the role of our policies, and the capabilities we've built around content moderation are fundamental to keeping Twitter safe and growing. I believe that there is a lot of work we have to do to continue making that better. Sometimes that means more thoughtful moderation. Sometimes that means making things simpler. Sometimes that means changing product incentives to be able to solve problems through products sometimes instead of policies. During the last All Hands, you said that you trust Elon Musk. The correct quote was, we trust him. So who is we? And talking to Elon, what made you trust him? And based on the conversation I had with him uh, when we were excited to have him join our board, that was because as a major shareholder and an opinionated user, we wanted that voice in our boardroom so that we could learn. Is there an updated understanding on what free speech means? The question behind the question here, which is, Where might Twitter's product go as a private company in the future once this deal closes? To best gain perspective on this, as I said earlier, we'll find ways to bring Elon for a Q&A with all of you to understand better what his vision for the future of Twitter might look like. Per quale motivo parlano di etica discutibile di Elon Musk? È veramente il personaggio, come si racconta la narrativa ufficiale? Scopritelo attraverso la pagina Indice Alfabetico, di cui trovate il link nella descrizione di tutti i video e cercate la voce Elon Musk smascherato. Buona visione.